the world's largest aquarium, the world's tallest skyscraper, gorgeous beaches, a ski resort, all of this and more in the middle of the desert. As you may have guessed, we are talking about Dubai, which has long been a mecca for tourists. The main attractions of this eastern country are not museums and galleries, but hotels, water parks, nightclubs, and giant shopping centers. The ambitious scope of Dubai in Dubai is felt everywhere. In the height of skyscrapers, the size of road junctions, fountains comparable in size to the Principality of Monaco, and more. And these are not all the surprises that the mysterious emirate holds. What can you say, for example, about the entire archipelagos of artificial islands? More recently, the UAE state was a huge desert, occasionally interspersed with oases and completely unsightly townships. But along with the oil demand, prosperity came to the country. The heads of each of the emirates were able to successfully invest the super profits obtained from the oil field, and the desert turned into a garden and a tourist paradise. Dubai has built many luxury hotels, entertainment, and family centers. Crowds of tourists from all over the world flocked here to enjoy a premium vacation. The main problem in Dubai's tourism industry is that the demand for luxury vacations has significantly exceeded the supply. After all, the length of the coastline of this emirate is only 72 kilometers. To expand the area and build more hotels and entertainment venues, the first artificial island was created in 2001 in Dubai, often referred to as the eighth wonder of the world. The initiator of the ambitious project was the governor of Dubai, Sheikh Mohammed Al Maktoum. Palm Jumeirah is a man-made island with an area of about 6 square kilometers, built on 110 million cubic meters of sand taken from the sea. The project seemed successful. In 2006, the formation of land was completed and the territory was set to be built upon. The success inspired the authors of the project, and so a whole archipelago of artificial palm islands appears in Dubai. Palm Jumeirah, Palm Jeba Ali, and Dera Palm. And between them are located an artificial archipelago of 300 islands, located in the form of a map of the world called the world. In addition to this is the archipelago of the universe, consisting of hundreds of small islands arranged in the form of the Milky Way and the solar system. Astronomical sums were spent on the project. According to official information, the cost of the Palm Islands was $7 billion and the World Archipelago cost $25 billion. In total, the length of the coastline of Dubai was supposed to grow to 1,500 kilometers. As part of the World Project, it was decided to sell entire islands for construction to world celebrities. In the rest of the territory, it was planned to build a network of hotels, entertainment establishments, and private villas, which could be profitably sold to investors. Part of the land was to remain the property of Sheikh Mohammed, the developers were two state-owned companies, the Dubai World and Nakheel. Engineering and construction work was carried out by contractors from America and Europe. Sheikh Mohammed's enthusiasm has attracted billionaires from all over the world. They were in a hurry to invest money in the unfinished islands and buy real estate. The complexity and therefore the high cost of building artificial islands has its own reasons. First of all, the problem of sand. It had to be removed and transported from the bottom of the Persian Gulf. The sand from the desert did not fit. It turned out to be too fine. To prevent the waves from destroying the islands, they were surrounded by giant breakwaters 4 meters high. Efforts were also required to improve the circulation of water in the bays of the archipelago. Without this, it would stagnate and bloom. Many builders and personnel refused to stay on the ships from which the construction was carried out for a long time due to the heat and uncomfortable living conditions. Potential buyers were interested in the reliability and durability of the artificial islands. Some experts argue that in half a century, the created land areas will go underwater as a result of climate change on Earth and an increase in the water level in the world ocean. Supporters of the project denied these statements, reassuring investors that their holdings will remain afloat for at least 800 years. Environmentalists also did not feel much joy from such major changes taking place in the waters of the Persian Gulf. They have repeatedly expressed concerns about the negative impact of artificial islands on the flora and fauna of the coastal zone. Skeptics argued that the islands could upset the natural balance, and increased use of the Persian Gulf Bay would lead to pollution. 
It should be noted that the Dubai government has always listened to the comments of the green ones, as they are themselves interested in the development of the tourism industry. In particular, artificial reefs were built around the islands on which they created favorable conditions for marine life. On the central islands of the World Archipelago, it was planned to install desalination and water purification stations. The plans also included the use of clean energy sources. But in 2008, the global financial crisis struck and changed everything. Sheikh Mohammed denied for several months that the crisis had somehow affected the Emirate. But soon, dozens of projects were suddenly frozen and massive layoffs began. The Dubai world has requested that the investors involved in the construction of the islands postpone debt payments for six months. The developers' debts amounted to $60 billion. The Emirate government has also announced its intention to restructure the Dubai world and Nakheel state-owned companies. At one point, the epic-making construction sites turned into deserted and abandoned piles of sand. If you now look at the archipelago from a bird's eye view, it makes a depressing impression. Having restored the economy in several years, Dubai has made efforts to rectify the situation, but the project has not been able to return to its former scale. There are real estate sales on Palm Jumeirah, but its price has fallen sharply. Investors refuse from previously acquired objects as construction continues around them. It is impossible to live and relax in such conditions. On Palm Jebel Ali, all work has been stopped, and developers have begun to return money to investors. Most of the problems are connected with the completion of the artificial islands of the World Archipelago. Here, in addition to financial difficulties, there are also logistical ones. Unlike the Palms, the archipelago is not connected to the mainland, and the delivery of something to it is associated with additional costs and difficulties. Since most of the land reclamation work was completed before the crisis, and 70% of the islands were sold to world celebrities, anonymous buyers, and large investors, Work on the archipelago has gradually resumed since 2013. However, the situation is far from perfect. The Universe Project was finally frozen in 2009. Despite everything, the Dubai government plans to bring the creation of the archipelago of artificial islands to its logical end and believes in its success. Great hopes are pinned on the Expo 2020 exhibition. The global event will take place in the Emirate at the end of 2021. It is planned that the event will attract the attention of new investors to the project. Many countries around the world are investing in risky engineering solutions. Some of them are successful while others fail. However, the very fact of such a project is sometimes more important than commercial success. The buildings of the century attract tourists and support the local economy, become new symbols and serve as national pride. Regardless of whether the cost of building artificial islands will pay off, they have already gone down in history and attract people from all over the world with the audacity of engineering and the scale of the dream.